If you just got a pair of AirPods Pro, and aside from noise cancellation, transparency mode, these things can do a lot more. So sit back, relax, as we're gonna go ahead and go through the complete list of everything you could do with a pair of AirPod Pros. Let's go ahead and get started. So this video is primarily gonna be targeting newcomers, but we're also gonna go ahead and cover the latest iOS feature that Apple added not too long ago. So it's a complete guide for everyone. Let's begin. Now when charging your AirPods Pro, if you set it down on a wireless G charger, and the LED indicator goes away and you want to reactivate it and know its current LED stats, you can actually tap on it and it will actually illuminate just like so. And then if you recently picked up your AirPods Pro within the fall of 2021, around October time, your AirPods may actually have MagSafe support. You can actually dock them like so because these actually have the built-in MagSafe. And in addition to that, they also have AirTag functionalities. And the benefits of having the MagSafe is, let's say for example, as soon as you're done doing the one touch quick pair, the AirPods are automatically paired across all your other Apple devices under that same Apple account that you have. Which means now these are actually locked to your device. So if somebody steals these, your AirPods will actually keep marking the last known location. So if you launch the Find My app, here you'll be able to locate your AirPods. You can actually allow it so each earbud can actually play sound. So if you lose an earbud individually, you can actually play sound individually or both at the same time. Caution, it does get really loud, so do not recommend wearing these. There's even a volume warning as well that pops up on the screen. But you can locate the AirPods this way, but you can also locate the MagSafe case all entirely as I've actually used the nearby feature where it'll actually change the screen on your iPhone and will begin giving you feedback so it's gonna start luring you to your device. So this is a unique feature that's only available with the AirPods Pro with the MagSafe case. Then in addition to that you can actually custom create custom notifications. So if you configure this if in case you forget your AirPods at the gym or something like that, as soon as you leave that area in general, you'll be quickly notified so you could turn back and get it. And then underneath here, you can also activate lost mode. So if another Apple device does encounter your AirPods, they'll be able to get a hold of you with the contact information you provide so they could properly help and return your device. Now because of the tracking feature, if you travel with your buddy and their AirPods Pro with the MagSafe cases around them, they're also going to get notified that they're being tracked when in reality they're just traveling with your AirPods Pro. So they're going to get an indicator knowing that AirPods are tracking them because they can be used that way too, similar to AirTags. Again, they share the AirTag technology, which is kind of cool, but may become annoying. But because of this, a pro tip, if you're going to sell or let your buddy borrow your AirPods, now you actually have to go into your iPhone's settings, go into Bluetooth, and locate your AirPods that you have connected. Tap on the little eye icon, scroll all the way down, and tap forget this device. This, this will bring up a window letting you know you're going to remove it off your iCloud account. But you need to do this if you want to sell or give these AirPods to somebody else so they could use it on their device without any issues. So you have to do this process now in order to let somebody else use your AirPods. Or else it's going to be linked to your account and they, they won't be able to use it at all. So great security feature, but can become an inconvenience sometimes. Now still in our Bluetooth settings, tap once more on the eye icon. Here you can actually rename your AirPods. So I actually specify mine to say MagSafe so I don't get it mixed up with my other Apple devices. And here you could toggle the noise cancellation modes real quick if you want to, but a faster method is you bring down the control center, press and hold the volume rocker, and you'll be able to switch between the different modes here, as well as spatial audio. And what basically special audio allows you to do is uh, basically it'll just allow you to track the screen. So right now we have special audio with head tracking. This means if we place our device on the floor like so and we actually rotate our head, the audio will actually shift using its internal sensors to give you a, f a real 3D immersion. Really good, especially when you're watching movies. When you have it fixed, that means the screen will always be facing forward so even if your phone's down here or your screen display is down there, it's fixed. So as soon as you pivot your face, it'll also pivot. But what's the fixed display? Or you can have it off entirely. But now let's go ahead and say your buddy wants to also watch what you're watching or listen to whatever you listen to. Music, podcast, anything really. 
So, so long as they have a device that actually supports this, it could be Beats. Some Beats devices now support this, but let's say for example they actually have another pair of AirPods, they could simply just bring up their device, open up the lid, and on the little AirPlay icon, the blue with the circle, you'll see a share audio feature. Follow the on-screen instructions and you'll be able to share the device audio just like so, and it's synchronized perfectly with the device that it's connected to. And if you actually press down and go back control center, hold down on the volume icon, you can actually adjust the audio for those devices individually. So you can have your own set preference and they can have their own as well. You can still toggle between your different modes and if their device supports it, there are modes here as well. Now back in the AirPods Bluetooth settings, on the press and hold, you can actually change it so you can allow it to do other things. So on the left side, uh, we can either have access to quick access to noise controls or you could replace it to Siri and you could keep one to the noise controls and one dedicated for the voice assistant. But here you can also individually adjust the different noise con uh, controls. If you want to have it turn off entirely you could check mark it so now you could toggle between those three different modes. If I turn it off this says to be able to give you a little more battery life so if you want to squeeze out that extra battery life juice, you can have the both two of the modes turned off entirely. Now going back, here you'll find the ear fit tests. Run this in case you're unsure if the silicone tips that you selected are the perfect fit for you. This will run a quick little test that will actually utilize the internal microphone so it can make sure there's no air, no sound leakage or anything like that. If there is, it will actually recommend you the correct tip. So just follow the on-screen instructions in case you're unsure. This is a unique feature that can be found on the AirPods Pros. Now, with the automatic ear detection enabled, basically as soon as you remove an AirPod out of your ear, it will automatically pause and will resume back as soon as you place the AirPod back in your ear. If you don't like this feature, you can turn it off entirely so. By having it off, if we remove an AirPod, our music still plays and will continue playing and you can actually share the other earbud to a friend or somebody else who also want to listen to what you're listening to in case they don't own their own pair of AirPods or forgot theirs. So that's a quick summary of what that does. Underneath there is the connect to this iPhone. By leaving it automatic, this will automatically switch between all your other Apple devices. So if you're on your Mac, an iPad, even the Apple TV, it will actually automatically connect and switch to your AirPods. So you can actually listen to the audio that way. If this becomes annoying, you can actually go in here and in the automatic section, just check mark when last connected to this phone. Now it will no longer do that. Now a spatial audio tab, we already covered this, but this actually gives you a visualization of what I mean and how that works. So stereo audio, this is the default. Spatial audio will give you that 3D immersion. Now having the microphone here set to automatic, this basically allows the AirPods to, as soon as you place one earbud in your ear, that AirPod will automatically be set as the dedicated microphone for your phone calls and such. But if you actually have a personal preference, you can actually dedicate one AirPod to always be that microphone, so left or right. This gives you that freedom right here. Scroll down, optimize battery charging. I highly recommend leaving this on. Basically, this will safely charge your AirPods at all times. Charge rate can get slower, but this will increase the longevity of the built-in batteries on your device. So just leave this on for the optimized battery charging experience. Now with the Find My network enabled, this is what I mean by Find My. So have this enabled if you like to utilize the Find My feature on the AirPod Pro case in case somebody does steal them. I'll leave this on, very similar to like your iPhone now. And then down here you'll be able to find other information about your AirPods Pro, like the model number, serial number, and version firmware updates they're on. And down here, if your device still support it, you can actually add Apple Care right here, and you'll see the available plan options that they have available for you. And disconnect is just how you manually disconnect them. And forget this device is how to properly unpair your device from your iCloud account. Now, if you go back and we actually go into Control Center customization, I highly recommend adding the hearing 
and announce notifications. And you can rearrange these two shortcuts like so by have, pressing and holding the little line icons on the very edge like so. And now whenever you bring out Control Center, you have access to these two different modes. Now with the bell icon with the sound waves, this basically allows Siri to announce these notifications to the earbuds. So in case you don't have your iPhone around and you're too busy, you're working out or something like that, and somebody sends you a push notification, a text message of some kind, uh, Siri will verbally read out loud that message and you can reply just like you would, like as if you were talking to a normal human being, without saying the sentence, hey, S-I-R, I. So this will allow you to quickly reply. But if you actually have some third-party apps that you I will also want Siri to read out loud, like important notifications for your business or stocks and such, you can actually enable it. So Siri could also read out loud those notifications from those third-party apps as well. Back in your settings, scroll into your notifications, and where it says announce notification, make sure it's turned on. And headphones is also enabled, as well as uh, CarPlay is optional if you want Siri to verbally read out loud. Uh, your notifications while you have CarPlay enabled. But down here, these are the independent apps that so you can actually go in and manually enable. So if there's a third party app that you rely on a lot and you'd like to hear the notification as soon as it comes in, you can enable it right here. Now going back in the control center, now the ear icon does a couple of things. When you enable this, you can actually enable background sounds. As a new integration for iOS recently was white noises now a part of the OS. So instead of relying on a third party app, you actually have this built in. When you tap on background sound, you have these different sounds to choose from. Balanced noise, bright noise, dark noise, ocean, rain, and steam. And you got just the audio right here. And it will also show you the decibel levels, including the battery life percentage of your AirPods right here on your display. That's what that does. Now, live listening, this will actually utilize the external microphone on your iPhone. So uh, it will actually allow you to actually hear what's around you because the microphone will actually amplify your surrounding. And if you lock the screen, it will actually show you that the microphone is indeed enabled. So if somebody's trying to eavesdrop on you because this will wirelessly transmit the audio from the microphone to your AirPods, you actually get the device, tap here, and turn off live listening entirely. Now conversation boost, this is a feature exclusively for the AirPods Pro. And to enable this, or if you need to enable this, you just simply can go into your iPhone settings, go into accessibilities, click on audio slash visual, and in headphones accommodations, turn this on. And where you see custom audio setup, go ahead and set this up. Follow the on-screen instructions. This is where it's going to actually show you if this is a setting that you will need based off your ears from this test. And then if you do happen to have need the requirement to have this conversation boost, you'll see it right here where you can actually enable it or disable it. The first time when I did it, my iPhone determined I don't need it, but here I actually spent the time to make sure I had it enabled. So by hitting the wrong things, I managed to have this feature enabled and this is where you can actually go ahead and enable or disable it. And by having this feature enabled, you actually have control for other things too. Now when it comes to updating your AirPods, there's no manual update button unfortunately on your AirPods, but what you can do, you could always just have your AirPod case ready to be updated whenever a firmware update is available, it'll automatically update. So just have your AirPods inserted inside the AirPod case, close the lid, make sure they're connected to power, either wireless charging or a physical cable, and basically that's how these devices update. It's just random unfortunately, but you could always check, make sure your main device, like your iPhone, is on the latest firmware update available. Now in terms of monitoring the battery life percentage, there's a couple of ways you can actually do this. You could either open up the lid, the little card annotation will screen will pop up on your display. You could add widgets like here, or you could add end cards like right over here to show you the battery life stats. And if you connect your AirPods to your Apple Watch, if you have one on hand, you can actually bring up the control center of your Apple Watch, tap the little AirPlay icon, tap on the AirPods, let it connect. And if you actually go back in your control center, tap on battery life percentage, you can view the battery life percentage of the AirPods right here. And since our AirPods are connected to our Apple Watch, you can actually stream your music on your Apple Watch to directly to the AirPods, so you can actually leave your phone behind. You could definitely take advantage of this, especially if you have the cellular version or you actually installed your music playlist on your Apple Watch. In addition to that, you can actually switch between transparency mode and the other modes right here off your wrists. 
Now on the Apple TV, you can actually connect these AirPods as well this way and you can still utilize the audio sharing feature as well. Now when it comes to knowing your AirPods, if you're having any issues with them, like troubleshoot and such, uh, the LED indicators indicate a lot of things. So when the light is green and the AirPods are inside, that means the case and the AirPods is at 100%. When it's ambient, that means there's less than half charge remaining, so below than 50%. If there's no light whatsoever, obviously that means there's no charge whatsoever. If the ambient light is actually flashing, that means there's an error and you will need to reset your AirPods if nothing's working. In order to reset your AirPods, insert the AirPods, place them back in the case, have the lid open, and just press and hold the little pair button back here until the LED light begins flashing. When the white LED light is flashing white, that means they're on pair mode. You can either bring your iOS device next to it and follow the on-screen instructions to quickly reconnect them like this, or you can actually continue holding these and you can connect them with, to like a third-party device like a Windows computer, Android, or a gaming console like a Nintendo Switch in our case. Just go into that device Bluetooth settings, search for new devices, and select the AirPods like so, and you will actually notice some of its features carry over on that device. So like the noise cancellation, the transparency mode, you'll be still be able to toggle those, and sometimes a virtual voice assistant. Now the virtual voice assistant can actually be toggled hands-free by saying the sentence, hey, I don't want to set off your device, but you know what I mean, S-I-R-I, -I, that assistant, or hey, s'mores. So you could toggle Siri that way. But if you're tired of other people toggling your device with their voice, you can always just go into your settings, scroll down to Siri and search, and disable where it says, listen for, hey, you know, disable it now. Nobody else will be able to enable that or set yours off randomly. Now, quick bonus. If you're using one AirPod to have a phone call, but if you notice that the noise cancellation feature doesn't work with one individual AirPod, you can overwrite this. Go into your iPhone settings, go into accessibilities, Scroll down where it says AirPods and Beats. Select the AirPods and scroll down. Here is where you can actually enable noise cancellation with one AirPod. So if you want that feature, that's how you could do that. And since we're at it, if you think the stem press speed is too slow or fast, you can actually modify it. If you wanted it to be slower or slow S, you can actually personalize it right here as well as customize the press and hold duration you can also shorten it if you wanted to instantly just activate noise cancellation or Siri you could easily do so and then also this is where you can actually enable the follow iPhone feature I recommend leaving this on so you can actually take advantage of the head tracking ability but again you can always go down in control center and switch it to fix this technically disables it that way as well now if you're not satisfied how your AirPods sound like, you can actually adjust the EQ with different EQ settings. All you gotta do is just go into your settings, go to music, and go to EQ, and here you have all these different modes to select from. I recommend playing music while you're selecting through them, because you can actually play your music as you select in all the other pre-created profiles. And if you're looking for the loudness, it's usually a debate between late night and loudness in general. These two are the ones that are actually really loud. And then down here, sound check. If you enable sound check, this allows the next track to actually follow the same decibel levels from the previous track. This way it doesn't like catch you off guard. Now if you're using your AirPods Pro on an Android device, there actually is a lot of advantages because again, you get to keep the noise cancellation and transparency feature to carry it over on the, even on the Android side. But if you're using these on Android, I highly recommend downloading this app. This will actually give you AirPod features on your Android device. It's kind of neat. Definitely give it a shot. And just like that, you are a pro in terms of when it comes to using your AirPods Pro. You got some good useful information out of the video. Greatly appreciate it if you guys would leave this video a like as those help me out a lot. And get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. For more, check out this video over here. So I go through my favorite accessories for my AirPods Pro. And then that video over there, that's just the video YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.